Hello, everybody, and welcome to Knocked Conscious. Hola. This is Mark. We've got Christopher over here. Chilo. He's a stage left or stage right? I'm not sure which one. It's one of the stages. Stage. Stage three, possibly. So we're going to start with a quick correction from our Catholic Church episode. Um, Christopher, you said that there was a 70-year span where like over a 1,000 people were molested in New Jersey. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. I fucked the math up. I said 150 a year, which is doesn't fucking matter because it's one is one too many, but it it's 15 a year, but that's basically one and a quarter children a month for 70 years. So it's a thousand divided by 70. Yes, I did it by seven and I screwed. I'm, so I, it's I'm, 1.5 a year. No, 15 a year, not 150. Okay. I said it was 150 children a year. And I said even at 120, it was every three days. I, three days. Right. 30. Yeah. 20 some days, whatever. It's one and, a, one and a quarter per month for 70 years. Doesn't make it any better. So it's still shitty. Um, but we talk about synchronicity, right? This is not conscious. This is yes, where sir. we talk about our... Uh, our paranormal experiences, our psychic, not like ghostly paranormal. N- no, no, but just otherworldly. I don't know how to, another way to explain it, but I, I use paranormal as a not normal. So not using our normal senses. I don't know. It's fucking stupid. I'm an idiot. But, um, sir, when did we record that podcast? Uh, a week ago, Friday, Friday, the 29th. Sure. I believe it was. It's the 29th, Friday the 29th. Do you know what I got in the mail the day, the next day? It was sitting on my counter. A uh, person who lives in my house had gotten the mail and it was sitting there and it was addressed to Mr. Mark Poles or current resident. Would you like to take a guess? Even though you know. <laughs> I'm going to guess it was the... Bowling Championship Encyclopedia Britannica Encyclopedia Pabia. 2020. Nice. Close. No? I was n- no. Damn it. I thought I thought you were going to go like History of the Stanley Cup. Oh, fuck. or something. I thought it was I'm more like bowling. Dorky ice hockey liker. So so we did a really fucking crazy episode on the Catholic Church. Two parts. Took two parts. Two and a half hours everybody. Please listen to that. It's ridiculous. And in my mail is a book. The first page reads the untold story behind the Vatican's rising influence in America. And it's basically something that shits on Let me see. the church as a whole. I'm sorry. I don't know if I can hold it up because I don't know. I, are we allowed to? I don't know if it gets us in trouble. Please do. Please do. You can hold it up. This came free in yeah. the mail, yes. dude. And please don't show my address on the back, though. Oh, hey, the so rate. the address on the back is... <laughs> One, two, three, four, Fifth Street, I believe is correct. Yeah, that came Any in the mail, town, everybody. USA. That came in the mail, and um, that made no sense to me. I, I believe I texted you immediately and went, bro. bro. I think I took a picture of it and said, I brought it to you, actually, to your house the next day. and said, Less than 24 hours after that podcast, that was in your mailbox. Yes. Um, and that's after we recorded it, not after. But it's we knew from Michigan, anything. so it had to be in the mail two to three days before the recording of the podcast. That is correct. So, uh, how do you logically? How do you explain that? The police wrote an album called "Ethnicity." I was like, to go oh, you mean the, the, those police? Those not police, the police, not, police, not. Yeah. Right, okay. um sorry no so that's a big concept in the spiritual juju world in the fruit loop wind chiming world is synchronicity you look at the clocks 11 11 or 1 2 3 4 right 12 34 or 4 44 you know just consecutive numbers things like that you see them on license plates or on buildings whatever there's this whole thing about synchronicity a lot of people use that to guide their lives i have experienced it firsthand and i in my opinion it is used more as are we on the right path i don't use it as like a 
what to te- tell me what to do. I don't use it to guide me in that way. But if I make an action and I see a synchronous event, it may support or you know counter what I was doing at the moment. So we did a podcast about the Catholic Church, less than 24 hours, sitting in my mail, been in the mail system for X amount of time that I had no idea about because it has my name or current resident as the addressee. Um, speaks about the Catholic Church in an, in a very sp- interesting light. Uh, so that lets me know that I think we shared we uh, covered the correct topic. It's crazy. spooky, man. It fucking scares me because I I have these things happen a lot, and I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. So those are the two things I just wanted to cover um, before we continue because I'm all about being correct. So I, I, I'm not here to slander. I'm not on a witch hunt. My number, I did the math incorrectly. I carried a decimal point and um, that was wrong. So still 15 a year is fucking shitty. So Anyway, so we're going to talk about a fun topic now. As Chris is reading the middle of the book, I don't need to just crack right to the middle of it. Um. We're going to talk about courtesy versus respect. So it's really interesting because a lot of people are talking about how much we need to respect each other and whatnot. And I have a very different, I don't know, maybe interesting, hopefully it's interesting and different look on courtesy versus respect, whether it's earned or given or how that works. So Chris, I would love to let you take it away from here and see what we're going to do, Bob. Uh, we're going to start with the definitions according to uh, Beer Googles. Uh, courtesy, the showing of politeness in one's attitude and behavior towards others. Excellent. Courtesy, the showing of politeness in one's attitude and behavior towards others. And respect. Respect, a feeling of deep admiration for some one or something elicited by their abilities, qualities, or achievements. Respect, a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something elicited by their abilities, qualities, or achievements. So, in reading those two definitions, how the fuck do we confuse the two? I don't think I do. I think the human race does. And I think there's a great lack of both of those things running rampant through a lot of the people that I see on a daily basis. Yeah. So what you, you wanted to talk about courtesy and respect because you've had a certain upbringing that demanded certain things of you. Absolutely. So would you like to, share that now or do you want to talk about i don't that? even really want to be here oh shit. <laughs> i it's not like it works though like you're not even supposed to be here 37 dicks 37 um, 30 turn out to suck any dick when you cross the parking lot so you put it in perspective he's i wasn't 36 so, not even one bro not even that one time in college when i was experimenting <laughs> so um i was raised by a Mex- mexican catholic army drill instructor no kidding. All that shit's true. So hashtag I truth. hashtag, hashtag truth. So uh, it was very a rigid household. So um, you, I was taught to say please and thank you. I was taught to say yes sir, yes ma'am. I was taught to respect my authority, respect my elders, to respect the chain of command. You know, when I'm seven, you bounce a quarter off the bed. You know, like that's <laughs> what. That's the, that's what I grew up with. And that's, and I didn't, you know, now looking back on that, there were some shit suck. Yeah. But I, I don't think that that's bad to, to be, my dad taught me to hold the door for people, to be courteous and to be, hey, you know what? Don't be a dick. <laughs> Ta-da. Don't be a dick. Hey now. So I don't think it's such a bad thing to sit to s- good morning, sir. How are you doing? Good morning, ma'am. How was your weekend? And then people say, don't call me ma'am. I'm to me, it's a sign of being 
a nice person right of of showing that I'm trying to be nice to you of right. showing that hey I guess it's just trying to respect maybe it's not courtesy maybe it's respect maybe there's a line there that I hadn't thought about before yeah so and it's about holding doors it's about hey I'm on the freeway I should I should get up I should back off my gas pedal and let this person in because I know this lane's gonna end that's what it's about and my dad taught me to be that way even though he was notorious for never letting people in which is very interesting because his words were one thing and his actions were another thing so that's a typical Catholic move so that was weird but um I don't think that's a bad way to live like hey we're all gonna get there bro just let yeah. the guy in you know just just it's gonna be okay if you show up to work four seconds later it's gonna be okay you know what I mean like yeah. so I that's how I I'm obviously I'm not perfect I mean, by any stretch of the imagination so but I don't to say please and thank you someone holds the door for you hey man thank you so much you know let me get it for you the next time whatever what's what's wrong with doing nice things for each other what's wrong for trying to think of other people sometimes or maybe most of the time and I think that that's being lost a lot does that answer any of your questions it makes me ask a lot more oh dear uh, Jesus. well that's the thing is the second you brought this topic to me i had it i have like a list of topics oh dear Lord. and we pick from them pick and choose as we please but this one specifically strikes me because everyone talks about you will pay me respect respect me and i and i don't believe respect is given i don't agree with that statement because I, I I kind of live by the definitions. I think the courtesy is the politeness. Let someone in front of you hold a door. If someone holds a door, say thank you. That is courtesy. And I think people conflate courtesy and respect. They put them together. And when they say, I don't respect you, therefore I can't even be courteous to you. Right. Yeah. That's where I feel like this world is gone as a whole. I, I'm sorry that I sound like a 45 year old curmudgeon -y guy, 45 going on 90, but I have held doors for families of people going to eat somewhere and they just all walk in and don't hold the door and let me go, you know, and just they in don't front say of thank like, you or, or say thank you at all of 23 might say thank you. And they're not the first people in and usually the first people are in the adults or whoever, you know? I've seen people not even you hold the door for them and they don't reach out, but you expect them to reach out for them. And they just kind of skirt behind it and then it swings back closed. They don't even touch the door. You know, you've done, you've done that. I don't want to interrupt you, but I have a question. Yes, sir. I, I really would like to avoid this podcast from turning into a bit session. Yes. No, bit so session. I would like to, your point is very, very valid. Done. Yes. But I would like to, how do we take these situations and make them positive? Yes. So I have a solution. I think blow up the world. Go PSAs, bro. We have PSAs about <laughs> Pisas? Pisas. public service announcements yes. brought to you by knocked conscious. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. When someone holds a door, say thank you. When you, when someone's coming, hold the door but you shouldn't have to say that i know i know but that shouldn't where, be a sign on the yeah. road that says don't beat your wife man <laughs> i know bro but they also tell you not to put your kids in your car and your dogs and, and hey, don't put hot. them in the pool right it's hot take like, your dog on. out the car yeah i get that well that's where the consciousness comes in so to put a positive spin yes bitch session over we know what the problem is right my opinion is that respect and courtesy have been intermixed and People don't respect a lot of people because respect is much a deeper admiration. I so when they don't have that, why would they say please or thank you? You're just another piece of uh, conglomerated meat or just meat pods, basically. So we can take courtesy out of it. That's my opinion. But I think we just need to address that courtesy is just simply being nice to each other. And you don't have to respect someone to be courteous. I think that's a good message to take. What are your thoughts? I agree completely. Is it too early for story time? Oh, is it story time? Oh, are you ready for story time? Me, I am. I'm ready. I'm ready. 
story time with yes, Chris Peralta. What's up? Yay me. So uh, a year ago, I was walking into work, and I was 12 steps behind a lady, and she walks into the building. Let me guess, it's swing shot. The door... She did not turn and look at me. She did not hold the door. She's, you know, a couple years older than me. So she's not a spring chicken, right? She's probably early 50s, whatever. She had a she had a hand free. She had a purse or, I don't know, a lunch bag or some shit. The door clicks shut as I'm reaching for it. Oh, like, oh fuck. Missed it by yeah. that much. And I was like, okay, that's that's just a great way to start the day, right? Okay, whatever. I, so I, this I, isn't a bitch session then? No, wait wait for yeah, it. Okay, I just... I, I let it go. We like, keep each other honest, my friend, yeah, no, you know, I appreci- out of love. Appreci- appreciate it. So... <laughs> I got fucking ham hocks. What the fuck is wrong with these sausage fingers? You big sausage <laughs> bro. Anyway, bro. Um, you're, it's okay. So, uh... Two, three days later, I get an email from her. I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God. So on the email, there's her picture. So I didn't know her name, never met her, didn't, had no idea who she was. None. Like I did, like, I mean, I saw her around like at the break room or some shit, but I didn't know who she was. So there's her, I, I, I still don't know her name. Hey, hi, Chris. Can you help me with my blah, blah, blah? Because my blah, blah, blah is broken and blah, blah, blah. Okay, first of all, you're not following the process because you're supposed to open a ticket because that's the process. Do not, just to clarify, you don't send it directly to you. Yeah, you're you not. You go through this thing and it trickles down yeah, to you. Yeah, there's a process that you're supposed Correct. to follow. Second of all, you wouldn't even hold the door for me. <gasps> Third, and in my mind, most importantly, well, okay. Underneath her name, I don't even remember her name. God, that's crazy. And this is the a name's year, not important. Whatever, sir. Rebecca Hernandez, whatever the fuck. De Mornay. De no, Mornay. she was not on the subway with Tom Cruise, and she did not rock the cradle. I, she may have. I don't know. Rock so, the cradle, love like Bill. Was it Beery, Billy Idol? Beery Idol. Beery. The song I rocked my car to. So, yeah, my Volvo in '91. Oh, I was like the, the cradle blazer. Love. No, <laughs> I sold that, I, bro. Bro. God. So. At the bottom of the email that I should have never gotten because she didn't follow the process, <laughs> under her signature, mm-hmm. okay, little signature, big font. I swear to God, I had to look. It was so alarming. God, the story time is getting longer. It's okay. Under her signature in 18, 18 point. point font, magenta. I swear to God, I sw- I I had to click on it to, and then look at the font. Italics, eighteen magenta italics, like whatever the Arial, whatever the fuck it was. I swear to God, fuck eighteen was a Bible verse, Proverbs. So the thou unto thee I will give unto though the pizza of the life of the Lord, whatever the fuck it said, and I was like. Motherfucker. Okay, the first thought I had was, I guess I could put Iron Maiden lyrics under my fucking signature line now. I guess it's acceptable. I would. Woe to the earth and the devil sends the beast with wrath. You know, fuck it. Yeah. It's not Iron Maiden, of no, course. No, that's but the mighty Led Zeppelin. Thank you, yes. It comes to the land of the rice and beans. So... <laughs> Says the half guy. Hey, so I, I don't even know what I did. The point is, she didn't hold the door for me, and that's a common courtesy. Yeah. Then I got an email from a devout Christian who are supposed to be the most respectful, courteous people on the planet. Courtesy should be part of the creed. Yeah. Like my parents said... Be Christ-like. I was told that a lot. Oh, Christopher, 
That's not very Christ-like. Bitch couldn't even hold the door? And now you want me to jump through hoops for you and you can't even follow the fucking process? I fuck. I honestly thought this was going to go a different direction. What did you think? I thought she was going to send you an email go, I look back and the door closed behind me and I was just in a weird frame of mind this morning. I'm so sorry that the door closed in your face. Nope. No, I know. I, it went the way it, every other one goes. Why don't? Why can't we get one of those other ones? I've nope. done that before. I would do way. that. I would go. I've actually done that. Dear before. Janet, I, yeah. I'm so sorry. I love Chris. I I stubbed my pinky toe and I have a hangnail and I forgot to hold the door. I would do that. Totally. Love the Iron Maiden guy. How fucked up is that? Well, you're, you have a good heart. That's all. Because that has nothing to do with what you. Um, hello. Music is like blonde brunette redhead. It's like. Michael Bubbles. <laughs> it could be Michael Bubbles. It could be like, you know, Amy Weincrotch. I mean, I'm, I'm using your terms. I don't know. I, it could be anybody, right? So it's it's subjective. That is story time, sir. I love story time. I love story time. It's my favorite. But so how do you how do you think how do you propose we address the issue of courtesy respect in this and this conflation and the problems that are arising out of it? I don't think we can. I I will continue to be who I am. I will continue to hold doors. I will continue to say please and thank you because that's how I was raised and that's what I believe is the right thing to do. Yeah. I I, I when I go to a store Regardless, if I go to Circle K or the grocery store or a, a, an expensive Macy's or and I'm buying a suit, I say to every person I interact with, I say, hi, how are you doing today? Every single one, regardless of who they are, because those people have hard jobs. Every, every single person. Yeah. I always thank people. You Absolutely. Know. Not service people, service people. Those Although people. I thank ser people for their service, I thank people like servers at restaurants. I'm always, when when everyone like, hey, is there anything I just get? yeah? Could I please have another water? Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Like, there's nothing. Thank with, you so much. Like that's all. It's not like water now. Like right. I've yeah. seen that obviously. That's right? my dad. And I hate to say, you know, we don't want to get all Appreciate bougie, it. bougie, negative on it. We want to, we want to, we want to solve this. And I, I think if we just roll back the clock and go. Guys, we're not asking you to like these people. We're not asking you to like anyone. We're asking you to simply know that we're all but all revolving around the sun at the same speed. We're all rotating at the same speed. The moon's going around us at the same velocity and everything. And we're all in this together. Courtesy works. Like, thank you. You're welcome. But please, after you. Yes, thank absolutely. You. And if we just, if we had that, and if we had some kind of once again, I'm not one for making laws for these things. Well, you can't you, make a courtesy you law. Can't. You can't. You can't regulate behavior. You can't legalize behavior, in my opinion. I agree. But people, can we just be courteous? We don't have to. I don't. I hate fuckers. I hold doors for. What for whom would O.J. Simpson say to this? He would say, "Hello, Twitter world. This is like great because." I was very courteous as I did my duty. I I said ladies first. I don't know if that's correct. Yeah, he, that's exactly what he <laughs> said. Did he say ladies first? Yeah. That's fucked up, bro. No, I have no idea I what he think said. I, should, I think I'm going to be in trouble. I don't think so. But to answer your question, I th hope that my actions of acting that way, of saying please and thank you, and genuinely caring about, like, I go to the same grocery store, about, about once a week, whatever. And the same lady has worked there. I mean, I've lived in that same general area for 15 years, whatever. Yeah. And it's Linda. It's Linda, the blonde lady. And she's Linda really nice. She's lady. very pleasant. I say, hi, Linda. Good morning. How you doing? <laughs> Today she goes, oh, I have heartburn from that Starbucks. <laughs> and she did. And I said, I'm so sorry to hear that. And then I left. I said, hey, Linda, have a great day. Every time I see her. And you hate people. That's what's I know, so funny but she has that. a hard job. No, no, no. You know, yeah, but I fuck that's people. That's my point. But in spite, in of spite, Chris's flaming hatred towards Ooh. general people. No, he's really not a bad guy. I'm painting him in a really shitty light. But in spite, you're of, a terrible artist too. In spite of your yeah, stick figures, bro. <laughs> in spite of Chris's 
feelings towards anything, that's happening regardless. Yeah. I, that's That makes sense. Cause it's easy. There's not, it's, it's how hard is that? Yeah. How difficult is it just to not be a dick? And just how go well and, does it pay back? Yeah. Just, you know, if her day is a little bit easier because I was, I took nine seconds to be friendly. Yeah. While I was ringing through the flowers and the wine that I brought, big freaking deal. Right. Yeah, how it's like it. It's it's so simple. And so, Chris, you did that today. You I came did. over. I did. Chris is invited. Hey, we're gonna have burgers, dogs after our podcast, and tater tots what and up, tots. The tots. What's even funnier? Let's talk about synchronicity. There, you text me. Hey, can I get a side like tots? I said, Funny. can I can I bring the can tots? I bring tots? I can show the text, ladies and gentlemen. No, you cannot. It's secret. Yeah, it is. But it, he did. Can I bring the tots? Oh, tots are tots are already here, bro. Tots are included. Rega- regardless, he goes. What else can I bring? Can I bring flowers? Why? That would be beautiful. He brought the as a courtesy. Never. What's what was the phrase your father instilled in you? Oh, my dad always said, "You never come to someone else's house empty-handed." So, and if I do, I have Mark included and some other friends. Oh. D- some dear friends had invited me over just recently. I said, what can I bring? They said Tupperware. I was like, I, I, cause they yeah. always, I love them. They're the best. But then they make Good this, friends. they make a side of beef. Right. <laughs> and then I come home with a quarter side of beef. I come a home with a quarter. Elk, yes. Like, Oh, here's your antler and here's your <laughs> elk sausages. Hoof, and hoof? Shit. Right. Do you get hoof or do you not eat the hoof? Uh, I've had it in, in hoof. In soup before, yeah. In Mexican soup, yeah. Excuse me. So, and so I couldn't do it. Then the next weekend, hey man, come over. What would you like me to bring? Nothing. It's not okay. So I went to the liquor store and I bought them an expensive bottle of wine, an expensive bottle of bourbon. And then I was like, here, stop saying bringing Tupperware. Boom. It's not okay. My dad would turn over in his grave if I just show up here for fucking dinner. Yeah. That's not, you just, I, I can't. I can't live with myself if I just, it's, it'd be like going to freaking TGI Fridays and ordering the most expensive thing on the menu and then leaving. Yeah. Dine and dash. Yeah. That'd be the totally. Worst. Yeah. Never done that before. Never I haven't college, either. Cause I'm not willing years. to go to jail. I don't think I ever have either. I think, I think I walked out and then was like, fuck, I forgot to pay once. And I did I that once at a, at a, um, at PetSmart. Oh, Wait for it. You want, you want, this is, n- is it story time too? Story time too. Oh my God. Oh my God. We get two. It's two stories in one with Christopher. Oh my God. I, this is so, this oh is like God. sidebar story you guys, time. Dude. You guys. Oh my God. You guys. Oh my God. You guys. I was with the, the boxer that I gave up in the divorce <laughs> at PetSmart at the vet. He had his annual checkup, little little Bubba. So that's his nickname. That's not his real name, but that's what I called him. So I still call him that. He's a good little dog. I open the door of the exam room to leave, right, and go pay and then make the, okay, well, he has to be back in six months for his Bubba vaccine and his butt stuff and his no, whatever the fuck they do. <laughs> they do. His butt stuff? Yeah, the anal gland the an- cleaning. Oh, the, uh, what's that called though? Isn't it like a word? Like anal an- glands? Releasing. No, there's like a God word to it. Fuck. <laughs> it's so gross. It attacked you, bro. Yeah, the anal gland just came out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> you see that? Whoa, it was close. It was really, that was really close. Anyway, I, wa- I open the door. He's taking shots of something in his eyeballs. Uh oh, it's I'm magic. Listening. You know. So I open the door. <laughs> you waited for that? I'm not the Mex- Mexican American Idol at all. I open the door and I walk out of the exam room with the dog, and my ex girlfriend walks right in front of me with her little Pomeranian mm. that I didn't know that. I was like, oh, that's a new dog. And I smiled at the dog. Oh, that's a cute dog. And I looked up and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> And I'm, I panicked, <laughs> and my heart's like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, 170 mile, million beats a minute, and I wa- I took a right where you're supposed to take a left to pay okay. them 180 dollars, and I was like, oh fuck, oh shit, I'm all freaked out. So I walked around the store with the dog, and I walked out. Uh, I got home. No. Yes, 
I got home and I go, bro. <gasps> wait, wait. I go, I got home and I go, oh shit, I didn't fucking pay. So I call him. Hey, I just left and I forgot to pay. Can I? Oh yeah, sure. What's your credit card number? Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, uh, what was that number again with the expiration was, uh, date and the, uh, and the CCV two two number? Two two seven six 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 six. Hold on. Six. Oh, sh- stop, stop. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. Right six now. six six. Six six seven, the neighbor of the beast. Okay, that is all. I'll that is story CCV time part two. I saw my old girlfriend at the fucking. Didn't pay, but came back and paid. That's pretty. I, cool. I called and paid. Once I realized, I freaked the fuck out. <laughs> at fucking Petsmore. What's really funny too is, along the courtesy line, if I may. Yeah, I called them and I paid. I love it. And I was so like. Brr! Well, this is where courtesy roll uh, runs in my in my daily life. I try I try to do the same thing. I don't know. I don't always let everybody in because sometimes I read what they're doing and I feel like their actions shouldn't warrant reward. Like you would uh, not hold the door for someone. No, I'm talking about letting someone in traffic wise. Oh, generally. Oh, yes. I, look, don't get me wrong. There's some shoulder runners and some whatevers. I won't. I won't. I will put a stand up for that because I, that's something about injustice. I've got a weird, deep seated thing about they that. don't deserve to get let in. Right. I don't feel dick. like, I don't feel like bad behavior should be rewarded, but that's my personal and I'm guilty of that 100%. But in the courtesy world, I've gotten something wrong in a restaurant and I feel guilty even mentioning that it was wrong or something. I, I remember I was at, I think if I may speak fondly of two places, cheesecake factory. Oh, that was so close, but it was. That was way off. But that was good. I like Cheesecake Factory. Me too, because they have cheesecake. One was In-N-Out Burger. Oh, yeah. And one was, um, oh, look at that. We got, we're 50, 50, we're 50%. Because you love one. there. Okay. I do too. Because they put pine nuts on stuff. Oh, that's not good. Well, pesto is pine nuts. Yeah, that's exactly right. No pesto. I can't have pesto. Oh, those pesto. It's like pesty. Pesty pesto. Pesters. Pesty pester. So, um, oh, I think this is, is this story time for me? Yes! No, it's not. No, no, we can't. We can't overuse the story time button. Bum, bum, ba, dum, ba. So, um, one time they got me something completely wrong and in and out. I called. I said, I'm really sorry to trouble you. And they got me a whole meal, like sight unseen. I yeah. felt so guilty, though, to even bring it up because I didn't want anyone in trouble. But, like, that's just a courtesy thing, too. It's like, you know what? Mistakes happen. Like, it's not the end of the world. You know, oh, you got my, you short ordered me. Oregano sent me a $25 gift card because they forgot to put one piece in there. Wow. That was really nice of them. Yeah. Like, thank you. Great customer service. I felt horrible even bringing it up because I can only imagine how, how busy they were at the yeah, time. And right. The circumstances. So, you know, yes, I would like to have the right thing happen. And those, those were two examples where they did the right thing. And yeah. it went above and beyond. And thank you so much, In and Out and Oregano's. It's TM. Trade, I don't know if they're trademarked or CC. Most likely. Or, or registered. Registered, sure. Sure, bro. LLC, maybe incorporated. Type SC Corporation, bro. <laughs> anyway. They're all owned by surfers. <laughs> well, don't call me. Why are you calling me a term paper, bro? Whoa. Are you just calling me an essay, bro? And I stole that from Pablo. Yes, yeah, that's okay, correct. I want, to be, I want to give credit where credit's due because I'm not. Carlos Menzdila. Whoa. Um, Such hatred. I don't know. That was just honest. It's true. True. So I, the courtesy. Why, why can't we just be more patient with each other? It's just it. It really does seem simple, but it's not easy. I guess it's human nature not to be. But I feel like for a long time it was instilled and passed down. I mean, loss of certain things like traditional. I hate to say like traditional family values and stuff, but without passing down, you got it from your dad. Absolutely. I got it from my parents. You know, without that next person passing it on, it goes away. It atrophies. It breaks off. It yeah. It falls apart. Yeah, I shrinks. understand why you'd say that. So that's where I feel like I just don't know another way to do it other than like just culturally put out advertising. Little billboards that are like, hold a door. Say thank you if it's held for you and hold a door for someone who's coming up. You think that would make a difference? I think it would. I think it could. I don't know how many children die in hot cars and how many dogs die in hot cars without PSAs because we have them. <laughs> but I would think the number might be one or two more. And if we can trend in a direction, maybe it can become like, vi- maybe it can go viral in a cultural sense. You know, not just a, not a viral video. Like, <coughs> I don't know. That's just my thought. 
What are your thoughts? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I think that I see the signs on the, on the, in the interstates, the freeways that say, be courageous or whatever. And I'm like, what? I don't, I don't, I don't know how that's, if you don't already know that, if you don't already know to be a good person, do you think a sign on the highway is going to help? And maybe that's, maybe that's a pessimistic thing to say. And that's me. That's a pessimistic view. <sighs> if you're, that's honest. I mean, if it's your not. parents haven't already taught you that, or and, or your church, or your mosque, or your synagogue hasn't already taught you that, dude, that money should be spent not on a freeway sign, but on helping a homeless person, or helping a drug addict, or helping. That to me is a waste of money. It's not efficient, in my opinion. I, I would right. if it if they could show me that it works. Okay, great. But so, but you don't. Is there a solution then? You're just saying it's it's out of control. It's never going to come back. I, I just, mean, is that that's just my feel from what the way you. I don't. You're I, don't I don't. I don't know, man. I I just driving concerned? here today. Are you concerned? No, I don't lose sleep over it. Okay. But just driving here today, even in the fact, I was going to say this. We're at the tail end of phase one of the pandemic, right? Right now, and right. things are early June 2020. Um, just driving here today, people are out of control. Just driving, you know. Go ahead. I experienced the same thing. I feel like people forgot how to drive in like the two months they didn't yeah, leave their house. Yeah, absolutely true. That's what it feels like. It feels like people are drunk. They're not staying in lanes. It's really well. They're odd. texting it's, while they're driving, well, right? But I'm saying it's it seems like they're drunk. I'm not saying Which I'm not staying distracted. Anymore. You know, yeah. so or they're just out of control. They don't even know. I I found myself going faster than I should have without even realizing it. I'm like, whoa, because and I never go that speed. So it was weird. It's like getting on a highway again, emerging again. Like yeah. it's all like, but with our self, I'd hate to say selfishness, but it's kind of our selfishness, right? Um, it's hard to now integrate again. But it's also, I believe right now that I believe there's a lot less highway patrol. I I mean, I true. Well, they're downtown. So yeah, there is the protests going on so that they have been redirected. I, I do understand that. Yeah. But I, I, I mean, I took during the entire pandemic, you know, two and a half months where we were locked down or stay at home orders, et cetera. You know, I still took my bike out at least once a week, twice a week, just, right. just early in the morning, just to make sure the engine would run and yeah. just a half hour. And there was no police, no cops, n no wow. highway patrol, none. So that has nothing to do with courtesy or respect at all. <laughs> Welcome to Tangents 2.0, ladies and gentlemen. Was that a real quick or was that a Tangents? I'm not sure. Real quick, 2.2. I like it. Well, that's interesting. So, circling back? Yes. Back to um, respect. Uh, one point I had was, um, I don't know where I learned it or, or it, if it's my own philosophy or if my dad somehow mentioned to me or I've had bosses in the past that one in particular, uh, my last job, great dude, bad boss, bad manager, mm -hmm. previous job to that, just bad person and bad boss. But I had to respect the position. I had to respect the title. Yeah. Director of... Ugh, well, you had to fuck. know that where your bread's buttered. Right. So right? I didn't like, respect those two gentlemen as people, but I respected their title. Right. And when they told me to do something, I did it. Right. Or I would say, as I did, as I do now, I would say, okay, however we could do it this way, there, there's other alternatives, here's your options, here's this, we could da 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 what would how would you want to do it different or not would you still like to do it your way or whatever you know i didn't respect them as people because they were pricks well right. one one was a prick bob you fuck um sorry robert uh, 
Roberto. So, um, I don't even uh, know who you are, but fuck, fuck you, you bro. That. But, um, no, uh, you, did you use last name, Johnson? No, no I'm just kidding. No, I, his I name was wasn't kidding. Bob John, whatever the fuck. Anyway, see, that's even better. You don't even know his fucking name. And the other dude name. was a great guy, but shitty boss. Yeah, he yeah. shouldn't have been put in the position he was in, and that's not all his fault. So, yep. I get, I get what you're saying. Um, some people aren't designed to be managed. You know what? They're not I, managerial people. Correct. I, so it takes a type of person. I did respect him as a person, but he didn't do a good job. How about you respect him as a person, but not as a worker? Person? Correct. Like, he, does I, not, he was not a good employee. Yeah. I bifurcate the two. My personal work life are very, very 180. So I had to, I had to kind of differentiate that in my mind of, you know, I have to do what this person tells me because they're my boss, but, yeah. and I respect their title and there's been the number of executives that I've had to work with, VPs and CIOs and shit that I've had to work with that were pieces of shit and it ta that talked down to me and it yeah. belittled me. I mean, I, I, it's ridiculous. Yeah, dozens, dozens. But yeah. I had to respect their title and I had to respect yeah. what they asked me to do or their, I had, hey, what do you think about this idea? And even though it was the dumbest fucking thing ever, but yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Of course. Right. Um, Right. You know, but, but I didn't truth. respect the person because they talked down to me. Yeah. You but still I, follow the definition. It's deep admiration for Well, the it position. was a title. It was yeah, the it was title. a position. It, was it the wasn't title. for the, and for the job getting done. It was a deep, it was a deep respect of that part, you know, the deep admiration. Yeah. So it was a, it was a, a philosophy that I, I mean, I don't even know what you're going to call it philosophy, but it was something that I had to come to terms with that like, fuck, I don't like this fucking dude. Right. But I, I had to respect the title because right. they were, I don't, they weren't signing the checks, but they could determine the path of my career if they yeah. wanted to. Absolutely. Plus, so. plus just having respect for the title is a good thing. Cause you know what needs to get done. Yeah. And you could still have courtesy. And if you see him in the personal life, you're like, fuck you, Bob, but I'll hold a door for you. John. John. I, know, I was trying to, help you out bro because oh. i know you changed you forgot his name and i was trying to state because you said you shouldn't have said it yeah well you know oh uh, now cat's out of bag fuck you john robert yeah. <laughs> jonathan roberts jonathan jones smith robinson Sen senior third Ch junior oh junior <laughs> <laughs> well that's been courtesy and respect, boys. And uh, girls. There's another point. I do want another point. Go. Uh, I talk. I was talking to Alpha Alpha Canada Will about this from the taxi. Yes, and he made a point about in the new, and I possibly may regret bringing this up, but in the new age we're in now of empowerment and equality and. Chival the the chivalrous movement that's gone in the ways of the past. Do certain women no longer want doors open for them because they want to be treated equally? Yes, but there's inherent to have it both ways. I believe it is a very slippery slope. Hence, why I even was like, "Will I don't know if I should bring it up, man." You just dropped the bomb on me, sir, because I could directly tell you exactly how i feel but please tell me how you feel so I, I and i told will i said i and he he thought i think he thought i didn't understand what he's saying and i said no dude i get it i understand exactly what you're saying and i don't care when i'm going up to a door and someone is two steps behind me i don't care what gender they are what age they are what what weight they are what height they are what religion they are i'm gonna hold the door for them and if they think that i'm being chivalrous or i'm not being chivalrous or if i'm being i don't give a fuck i'm gonna hold the door because that's who i am I, I, you know and if if they interpret that as me being a male chauvinist pig that's their interpretation that's them being offended by me trying to be kind i can't control them I can only control me trying to do something nice for another human being. A two-second gesture. We're having a 10-minute conversation about a two-second gesture. Do you understand that shit? That's fucking stupid, by the way. Well, it's it can change the world, man. Because if we have a conversation about this. The butterfly effect? And people, well, if this catches on and people go, 
oh yeah, maybe I should just, I don't need to like you at all to just be a human to you. Yeah, I don't, I don't care, man. Like if you're right. Muslim or Jewish or Hindu, well, the thing or, is, I don't care. To your point, what you do is what you do. You open the door, first person doesn't say anything. You open the door, they look, the second person looks at you. Third person slaps you in the face. Fourth time, you have a choice. Yeah. Open the door or not. Yeah. I, to you, to your point, I'm opening the door. Yeah, absolutely. And and when I what I do now is when we'll come back to Will's point, but um or not, whatever. We will. Oh dear Jesus. So what I do we'll now alpha, is alpha will, actually. Yeah. So when I hold the door for someone and they don't say thank you, I say, You're welcome. I have done that before. Because I'm I don't know. I, maybe that's just satisfying my own ego or it's both. Maybe it's, you know, the, I wasn't given the courtesy back that I showed them Correct. as another human breathing being right now. You feel you're on the bottom side of the power curve. Well, like, it's not even about power. No, no, it's not power, but you understand. It's like you were the oppressor or the oppressee. I know. I, I know. I, I know. I'm trying Those to words be, are not accurate. Let me use it's very loose, very loose and now anal analogically and I guess, analogy. So you are the person who you should receive as you give. It should be equal. Absolutely. Right. It's not That's and how, how hard you is it? Feel. unless you're a right. deaf mute and give me some sign language, bro. Fuck. Yeah. Right. Or a wave. But basically you hold the door. Now you're like, what am I? Your fucking door holder. Fuck you. Because that's how you feel. That's how I felt before when someone doesn't even acknowledge. Yeah, like you at the restaurant with the people. Yes. I would have said, you're welcome. Right, and I have said that. Fuckers. Yes, I have said <laughs> No, for real. Right. No, I get it. I, because I if agree. you don't have the yeah. common fucking decency to acknowledge another human being for doing a decent, right. simple act, what kind of person are you? You should, you're, what, you're a piece of shit. May I be You can do whatever the you? fuck you want. Okay, no, not anything you want. No, I can't. Okay, go. Trust me. Oh, Jesus. Um, it is. It just saying you're welcome inflates your ego. It just satisfies you. The reason I say that, I think you also want it to kind of be stingy to them so they recognize it. But if you have a philosophy and someone just comes at you and goes opposite, you're much less likely to even listen or adopt any of that. I don't understand. So by saying you're welcome, they're just like, well, fuck you. I'm not ever going to say thank you again. Cause this guy's a fucking dick about me not saying thank you. It almost makes them be more, more their like way. themselves. Correct. You're just kind of, they dig their heels cause you are now confronting them in that instant. There's no other way though to go, excuse me. Excuse me, father, father of this family, you, this beautiful family. Could I, could I talk to you for a second? You know, I'm, I don't know. Do you, is that how you do it? Like, yo, you, here's your four children, your beautiful wife. You know, I was kind enough to hold the door for you, because because you're, you have a family. I I, I just want to pay a common courtesy to a fellow human being, and just say, you know, not a single person said thank you. I mean, who who does that fall upon? You know, how, why can't we be that way? I don't know. I don't know what to do because not everybody has comes in with a full family. Like we're all from different backgrounds. I mean, family isn't really a thing anymore the way it traditionally used to be. I mean, people would stay together when they hated each other. Right? Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. people are just get, they people divorce and they like each other. It's like really fucking weird. <laughs> so really weird. But you know what I'm saying? Like it's all <laughs> Three good. Years. Three years. No, but like that's how it is, right? So I'm I, I'm all I'm solutions oriented. So how do we do this? How do we? How do we just That's tell a good people? point. Pull the dad aside and beat the fuck out of him. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in front of the kids. Just kick him right fucking Right there in the Olive fuck. Garden lobby. Yes. Yeah, just fucking pound him. Pour some and not all you eat salad all over his face. <laughs> Would you like a breadstick, motherfucker? A <laughs> couple baskets. Uh, 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 uh. Like make nunchucks out of it? Yes. Like nunchuck breadsticks? They could kill a motherfucker. Bread I've had one of those OG breadsticks. Yes. But I've also had a soft one, but I've also had a hard one. That's we're we talking about breadsticks when they contextually when they quote that when they cut that into I have I have had a soft one and a hard one I'm oh it's over my whole career as a podcaster is over uh, so to get back let's we're, talking about, we're talking about breadsticks right we were yeah okay but you know <laughs> context context yeah. is kind of everything uh, and unless I can say breadsticks while I'm saying soft 
and hard like over top of it like a watermark like a vocal like an audio watermark then we're screwed bro i love you man soft hard screwed yeah so guys be nice to each other just be courteous just so courtesy can you read that again please can you do you want to go back to the slippery slope yes we will go back to that so there's two pieces at work yeah i'm you're right alpha alpha will bring them back what's the problem readdress the issue alpha alpha canada will said in the today's age of the the new age of where we are where we're going of i i, I don't i mean i could try to find it i don't, I, guess I know what you mean it's i i to sum up i think is what he's saying is women's equality Yes. And would would a woman get upset because you're holding the door for her because she believes that's a sign of male chauvinism? Yes, that's that's happened to me. Okay. I could share a story about okay. that. Okay. In my dating life, of which there was a lot. You're I, so hot, dude. No, I just was persistent. I worked <laughs> really fucking hard, man. I played the numbers game. I got like 1% of the fucking messages back. You know what I'm saying? But over my, I did a lot of online dating, probably 150 to 200 first dates, like no joke. And then it whittled, I mean, it went down to like 30 second dates from that. It was like a huge drop off. But we need a spreadsheet. During, I, I wish I wrote every fucking date down. I would have you'd the have, best coffee you'd be, table. You'd book. be like Sex in the Desert. You know what I'd be? Yeah, it would be HBO special. I'd fucking have no, a best it'd be selling. it would be Skinamax. It wouldn't be HBO. Soft porn? Oh, no, bro. Yeah. Okay. Sex in the right. desert. I like it. A little Marky Mark. Sex in the... I don't know how what rhymes with city. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> regardless. Ill. Supposedly. Regardless, um, hold the door open. Open the car door for the woman. I got looks. I got... I don't need that. I've also gotten thank yous. Don't get me wrong. I've gotten, I, let me put it this way. Run the gamut. I've run the spectrum from, wow, no one's ever held a door for me before, a car door, to like, to like suspicion and like, I don't need you. So I've got, I've run that whole thing. Pulling out a chair. I can get my own chair. I brought flowers to someone and I got this, this, the weirdest reaction because my courtesy, that's just where I came, you know, from where I came. It's just, hey, bring a fla bring flowers. It's nice. I shows my interest in you. It shows that I when I see these, I think of I thought of it's you. It's thoughtful. Yes. So those are just nice things. And I got I've gotten all those different reactions. And it's really interesting, but it is a true thing. I can understand that if you felt when I say oppressed and oppressor, right? When you felt oppressed or held down as a woman, you're, you know, perceivably your entire life, perceptually. I don't know, right? Everyone's story is different. But as a whole, misogyny is a thing, right? As a whole, the patriarchy is a thing. Once you get that empowerment, I could see the, I don't know, if backlash isn't the right word, but the reaction being, I'm very independent, but I think approaching it the way, like, and in, in a negative way, like, I got it, is not the right way. More like, thank you for thinking of me, but I'm a strong, independent woman. I can get my own door. That I think that would solve both problems. But why? Yeah. Why? Why can't it be a strong, independent person? Or should I not even ask that question? No, say that again. Why can't the response be I'm a strong, independent person? Oh, it can be. Yeah, it's just in general. I'm sorry. I just did no, I no, say no. Woman, it, it's not your fault. Oh. I'm just saying. Yes, it can be anyone. It's since I mean, look, let's be honest. You've not you have not not held a door because it was a man. Correct. I don't give a shit. Right. So in that case Oh, it's a dude, I'm not gonna hold the door. Right. In that case, that is certainly on the woman. Well, unless he's got like a gun, he's gonna rob the place. Well, there. <laughs> there I believe there's extenuating circumstances. But the woman might think like that was your way of controlling in a way but when you do it for everybody she might not even know she so does yeah it could be her of her course. ignorance and not ignorance in a bad way just uninformed correct and that's where you go for from there it's like i hold the door for everyone i pull out chairs i open car doors i bring flowers this this is kind of who i am it's out of courtesy for you it's not to hold anyone 
down. I don't expect anything in return. This is because of my thoughtfulness. This is my nature. This is my, th- this is my nature. Don't, you don't have to call it thoughtful because now you're sounding like you're upping yourself, right? Like, this is my nature. I hold doors and I hold doors. I'm a year and a half into a relationship. I still hold the car door every time. I think one time I missed and I was like kicking myself in the head forever. And I was just in a weird place. She forgiven you yet? She's the most forgiving person. She oh, forgives me. I thought me for, she was going to hold your balls to the fire. She's forgiving for being here, bro. I mean, bro? come on. Like, she should have run a long time ago. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. But the truth is, like, that's the that's courtesy. How they take it is on them, to your point. Yeah, that's, yeah. I didn't really realize that until you asked me the question that it's not, it's not my, what I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And if it's somebody else's reaction to be offended, I can't control that. And I had never had that thought until you asked the question. Yeah. That's a very good point. Well, I'm glad we got to t- to cover that. Yeah. Did we yeah. cover the the empowerment thing kind of a little bit? Yeah, I think answer? so. I mean, you, we can, wh- we can, you can. <gasps> Hello, Twitter world. Did we answer Alpha Alpha Will's question? Leave your comments below. You did say it's a slippery slope, and I know we could talk about that for an hour. We could. We could. Or fucking two, but. Or two days. I mean, we could be like, honestly, you and I could sit in a room and just be like, horse. Like, uh, yeah, we but, would but need we somebody to, to bring us stuff. coffee every hour. Yeah. Little uh, IV drip, all that good stuff. So, are we going to close it out? Do you want to reread these again? Or yeah, let's do it. We're going we're gonna to read the, the definitions again. Once again, guys, hello, to the world. Be courteous. Do you really have to be a dick don't be a dick don't be a dick 2020 don't man don't be a dick bro cool thing not always easy but focus focus once again courtesy the showing of politeness in one's attitude and behavior towards others like hold the door respect a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something elicited by their abilities qualities or achievements all right so, we don't need to respect you to be courteous. Courtesy is like the base thing we should be. Yeah. The base. It's like decency. It's kind of how I see it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you you don't walk by a dog and kick it. No shit. You, you pet just it walk. Because they're or, awesome. Yeah. You pet it. Or you walk by it. Those are the two that I would. Those are you two don't pet choose. it. You're not I don't a dog person. I'm, look, I'm not a dog person, but I still don't I kick it. it. Door. Bro, I don't kick it, bro. Well, I know that. Well, peace, love, and soul. We covered... Uh, Courtesy versus respect, sir. Jace. We're going to eat burgers now. Yes. We're going to eat some dogs. And we're going to partake in the beautiful wine that you brought. And, and some watch tater the, tots. Oh, and tater tots. And look at the beautiful flowers you brought. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. We'll be uh, back soon. Knockedconscious.com. Hey, sir. I know we're doing some pretty serious ones. But let's let's get back to Bureau Googles. Yeah. Down the road. Talk okay. me into it. Thanks, man. Love you guys. Peace, love, and soul. Uh-huh.